Welcome to Ultimate Survival Gear. Today, as you guys can see, I have something else from, I don't know if you can see it, Adidas. Ba barely visible Adidas here on the box. And obviously, these are not boots. You can see it's a small box. These are their trail running shoes. Adidas Outdoor, Terex AX3. Very, very popular hiking trail running shoes on Amazon, more than 5,200 reviews, holy cow, and almost five stars. So I absolutely had to get them to, in order to review them. And overall, overall, okay, I'm not going to be too harsh, but I'll say I do have a few complaints here and there, especially whenever it comes to the comfort level. Stick around to uh, find out exactly what it is, but not too bad, okay? Just, just because I reviewed hundreds of boots and shoes on, you know, on my channel, across my channels, two channels, uh, one, one of which was destroyed by YouTube. Thank you very much, YouTube. But <laughs> off topic, I have all of these little complaints here and there. That's why I do reviews. But overall, pretty good. You're not going to be disappointed, but you can find something better. All right. Well, let's start the review. Anyway, as some of you already know, <laughs> this review is specifically for my Ultimate Survival Boots section. Yes, and I know this is not a boot. This is a trail running shoe, but... Imagine if you were trail running, or maybe you were in the house, whatever, something bad happened, and you put this on, and now you had to escape your house, run, walk, climb, fight your way to the safety, right? Would they be good to survive in? How do we make the judgment? We make the judgment based on eight different criteria. Let's begin. Comfort level. Of course, starting the comfort level, you know, with the testing and the tests that I do uh, in order to test the comfort level, I do a three mile run nonstop and then a five mile walk again, nonstop right after the run. So eight miles total covered, uh, no breaks in between on a variety of different surfaces just to see how comfortable these boots or shoes are. Uh, so like I said, I'm not too impressed with the comfort level. Let's see why. Starting with the very first factor that contributes or takes away from the comfort level. It is the weight, of course. Now this is the size 10 and size 10 is 14.7, 14.7. Okay, now in order to give you a, a brief reference numbers in order to kind of understand uh, what numbers you're looking for, if you're looking for something lightweight, you're looking some something under 20 ounce. Anything over 20 ounces, it starts to get heavier, heavier, heavier. And obviously, the heavier they are, and less comfortable they are, the, qu the, the less distance you will be able to travel, the less running you can do because it gets heavier and you get fatigued pretty quickly. Makes sense. Now, 14, of course, is well under 20. But I have to say, I'm not impressed because these are trail running shoes. I had... 14, just the boots that are just reviewed from Jack Wolf, they were 14, okay? And that's a mid-sized boot. This is a trail running shoe. And it is surprisingly heavy. 14 for a trail running shoe is definitely, definitely on the heavier side. And you can feel it. Whenever you pick them up, you almost start questioning like, hmm, where, where, where? did they put a dumbbell somewhere inside of there? It makes no sense, all right? That there is something that caused these to be heavy. Now, why it's not okay for a trail running shoe to be that heavy? Well, because you don't have a shaft that gives you ankle protection. You don't really have much protection here, which you do here, but not as much as in the boot. The There is not much of, well, you do have a decent outsole here, but typically on the trail running shoe, you know, it, it still is a good balance and you do have a waterproofing most of the time. Here you don't have any of that and they're still pretty heavy. So kind of a little bit disappointed there, but let's move further. Let's move to the things that do contribute to the comfort level. It's the inner sole. Check this out. Well, not much to talk about here, honestly. It's kind of flimsy. It's fairly thin. Uh, it does have a nice shape to it. I like the heel bed. I like the arch support, pretty good. But once you remove the inner sole, it goes straight into the hard rubber. Again, for a trail running shoe, I expected a little bit more cushioning. Now, maybe because Adidas, they advertise this as a hiking shoe, not a trail running shoe. Maybe they think they can get away with it, but still, I expected a little bit more cushioning from a hiking or, or trail running or, or, or anything. Anything that has to do with hiking, anything that has to do with outdoors, a little bit more cushioning. Not the case here. I mean, honestly, I, I would say, okay, fine. Not a lot of cushioning, but at least they're very, very lightweight. 
which is not the case here. So, eh, a little bit uh, kind of disappointed. Uh, let's talk about another factor, the flexibility of the bottom sole. Here, the bottom sole is definitely on the flimsy side. And I think, in fact, that's where most of the weight is coming from, is from the bottom sole. We have this continental tire rubber that was implemented here. Very nice, very tough rubber, but uh, definitely on the stiffer side. So if you prefer, which I do, flexible, the more flexible it is, the more comfortable it is that kind of takes away from the experience as well. Let's talk about the padding. Now, not much padding in the tongue. There is decent amount of padding here, um, so it kind of helps. And then of course here, you do have some padding out inside the toe box here, but not much over here. And this is a harder rubber, so if you are getting a little bit of smaller size or the size that fits you, you're gonna get fatigued very quickly because this is hard. Keep that in mind, guys. Okay, so comfort level, not too impressed, I have to say, guys. I, you know, it's, uh, some people not gonna, you know, they're, they're not gonna be happy, but I'd rather be honest because I review hundreds of boots. I, I really don't have a purpose of trying to sell you something that I personally do not like. My honest opinion. Not impressed with the comfort level. Let's move on to the Criterion 2, proofing and protection. Proofing-wise, there's really nothing except the continental tires on the bottom. Uh, these are not waterproof and I mean, it doesn't really make sense, much sense to have them waterproofed because there is really no shaft for waterproofing. Uh, now, protection wise, Adidas did, did do a pretty good job. This is a very hard rubber. So running, walking on a rocky surface where a rock can, you know, fall on your toe definitely helps. And then there is this material going over here, definitely helps as well. And this is pretty soft. Obviously, absolutely no protection in the ankles. Uh, the heel is reinforced. And then again, uh, the continental tire going across pretty good. All right, let's move on to the criteria number three, quality and the design features. Now, usually quality wise, I rely on um, either Amazon reviews or you guys commenting and saying, hey, I had these shoes for years. They're amazing. They lasted me long. You know, that helps uh, because it really is relative. You know, whoever, uh, however you use your shoes, you can wear them once a month for a couple hours or you can wear them eight hours a day, every single day. You know, it really depends. Uh, so let me know, guys, what you think about these shoes if you had those. Uh, but, like I said, on Amazon, currently over 5,200 reviews, almost five stars. I, honestly, I'm surprised a little bit. I would never give these shoes five stars. No way. But still, great job, Adidas, for getting them there. Uh, one thing that I normally do not talk about is the build quality, because usually everything is built nicely. Uh, these kind of surprised me a little bit, considering that these are Adidas. You do have this gluing uh, coming out, and I, I, I'm not really too happy about that. I, I'm not sure if it's if it's a good thing or bad thing. Here, for example, between the continental tire and the top layer, you can see the glue here is missing, and you can actually split it a little bit. Which this is how this is a brand new pair, by the way. I always get two pairs: one's for testing, one is for this review, so that you can look at them nice and clean. Not, not not a dusty, you know, dirty freaking pair, okay? Uh, just if you're wondering. But yeah, this is a brand new and look, yeah, not not too happy. And you see the glue is, yeah, uh, not too impressed, seriously. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on to the design features, okay? Here I talk about the lacing system. Again, not too impressed with the lacing system. It doesn't slide very well through the hooks. Uh, it's not that easy to put them on and take them off. I mean, because there are shoes, it's easy, but if it was in the boots, it would be pretty complicated. Uh, not, not, again, no rings, nothing, no plastic rings, no metal rings, which I would think by how heavy they are, they would have something, but no, I, I don't know. Again, all the weight gotta be coming from the bottom. Let's just get to the bottom. Four, <laughs> criteria number four, outsole, traction and stability. Now, in order to test the outsole traction and stability, I test all my shoes and boots on a variety of different surfaces. I start from the uh, um, older asphalt, going to the newer tarmac, then dry sand, wet sand, dry grass, wet grass, rocky road, trail surface, and then marble and tile, and even some rubber. Now, these are very slippery on the wet grass. So, if you are considering them for your hiking shoes or your trail running shoes, I would not recommend them because they are slippery on the wet grass and uh, especially here in Florida, 
grass is freaking always wet, okay? Or at least on the trail that I go to, it's always freaking wet, especially during the summer, during the rain season. Um, this might look aggressive, but because they're kind of, these grooves are rounded up, they become very, very slippery, okay? Uh, another thing that I wanted to mention on marble and tile, if it's wet, if it's oily, you just gonna do freaking figure skating, all right? Very slippery. And finally, check this out. Yeah, you can become a DJ and do some scratch competitions, scratch battles, all right, with these, because they are freaking loud on marble and tile. Uh, again, not trying to be too harsh, but I'm being too harsh just because I, you know, being honest. All right, so let's move on to the criteria number five, temperature. Uh, obviously, this, don't even think about the winter. This is not a winter in any way. They're not waterproof. There's no shaft, no insulation, nothing. No winter, forget about it. Uh, but for hot temperatures, they are fairly breathable. Um, honestly, I, I would expect something a little bit lighter whenever it comes to shoes, but still very nice and breathable. It was 92, 93 degrees weather and I did not really overheat. Uh, one thing that I wanted to mention here, however, whenever I was running, I do not know where to mention that in my, uh, actually, you know what I do? I'm going to mention it in my next criterion, which is the sizing. I'm going to mention here, while these shoes fit me like they should, all right, this is my size, just like it's supposed to be, while I was running, I still had a very wobbly heel over here so there isn't much of that fitment whenever it comes to heel it, maybe they're just too wide maybe they just don't fit me very well maybe it's just not for my feet which happens we all have different feet uh, but not not too impressed now whenever it comes to sizing i always recommend getting a half size bigger than your normal shoe size in these shoes it is especially important because the front is so hard you want to have at least half a size extra here if you don't you're gonna get fatigued by this quick. So keep that in mind, all right? Half a size bigger. Let's move on to the criteria number seven now, the conclusion. Balance of application, if this really was your survival shoe, would you survive? Well, I think the answer is clearly no, because I mean, unless you're amazing, you know, you, you have your tactical training, combat training, you're a great runner, you're a great climber, you're a great shooter, you're a great fighter, everything, then really, you know, this just would be a compliment, right? If it's a good shoe, if it's a good boot. This will probably take away from your skills a little bit because they are too heavy for this size. Uh, they don't have a shaft to protect you, which is fine. Again, it's fine. I don't mind having shoes, trail running shoes, hiking shoes for a survival situation or for my hiking or for my climbing. I don't mind that. It's just I expect them to be absolutely fantastic whenever it comes to the comfort level as light as it can be to beat all of the boots out there like i said i can find boots that are as light as these and you know they'll have a shaft they'll have waterproofing they'll have all of that um so it's it's really kind of finding that balance here there is really no balance it's just all to the left you know down down downhill uh unfortunately unfortunately because i really want to like them because 5000 reviews on amazon and almost five stars, and here I am sitting, sitting one person and complaining. Not sure what's happened. Not sure what happened. <laughs> but you guys, let me know. You know, your opinions matter to me more than you know a bunch of people on Amazon. So let me know, guys, what you think. And the very final criterion, and I think that's right there, maybe is the factor why these are so popular. Is the price, because the price is pretty good. It's sixty dollars currently on Amazon. The link is in the description below. Um, it's a great price, honestly, uh, but would I buy them? I wouldn't buy them for $40, so yeah, <laughs> keep that in mind. So I'm going to end this here because clearly I'm not a big fan of these, unfortunately. Not often I do get something that I'm completely not a fan of. Sometimes I do try to find positive. Uh, well, here, okay, positive, okay, great protection. This is good, okay? That's really the only thing that is good, right? 
you know, at least something, okay? Uh, <laughs> let me know in the comments below, guys. What do you think about this review? Uh, what do you think about the shoes? If you disagree with me, that's completely fine. You know, we all have our different opinions. We all have different feet, different fitment. Uh, let me know in the comments below. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, if you found this review useful at the end of the day, please consider subscribing. Uh, if you can, please consider supporting me through Patreon as well. Um, as you can see, I'm not trying to make money. I'm not trying to, you know, sell you something. I am being genuinely honest and saying as things are, right? Now, YouTube, my previous channel, they destroyed my previous channel. Uh, they took away all my money from there, so I'm demonetized there. Um, so if even just a dollar a month that you can contribute to my work, I would greatly appreciate it. It would help me bring more content, more reviews to this channel. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Uh, I'll see you soon in the next video.